bienvenidos a los hermanos. All right, Ro, why don't you uh, go over the uh, the whole Los Hermanos story, man? How did that come about? When, uh, was that your idea, Mike's idea? Just to just um, stumble across it? With? It was uh, actually a combination of uh, us three, me, Mike, and Gerald. Um, it was like a, sometime after Jaguar, shortly after the release. Um, we were sitting around and just, you know, having a powwow and thinking, uh, okay, we finally hit on something. You know, we had the right combination. You know, the, the Jaguar, the way it was a success. And our whole thing was, you know, maybe we should start a label after this. And the way, the reason uh, Los Hermanos came up was, uh, I think it was Gerald who actually mentioned, you know, he was just messing around, fucking around, saying, how you say the brothers in Spanish? I mean, that's what we are. We are brothers. Um, and uh, just Los Hermanos. And he was like, yeah, that's got a good ring to it. So it stuck. But it didn't happen until... <laughs> That was back in 99 or 2000, whatever. So it, it actually took two years to do, um, but it's, it's, it's been a long time coming. So I guess with that whole Jaguar session, you guys, you working with, with Gerald, that kind of sparked the uh, collaboration. How do you guys work together? Um, well, I, the combination, it works out really good because like we have uh, two different musical backgrounds. Myself, like as I said before, um, First and foremost, I consider myself a DJ. And as on the production side, I'm more so of a programmer rather than like a professional musician. Um, so I bring that element into it. You know, like I'm out every weekend listening to what I hear, what's being played out there, and I see how the records are formatted and what works for, for the crowd, different crowds, you know, that sort of thing. Gerald, on the other hand, being a musician for many years, he brings that to the, to the table. It's just the right combination. And he also has a discipline. I don't, I'm very lazy when it comes to producing. So you, I kind of need that kick in the, in the ass every once in a while to let's go, let's get, let's get some stuff done. But you know, it's just somehow, some way it just works out. It's the perfect combination. So a lot of times you'll hear stuff and tell them. Right, you know, yeah, and a, lot of, or a lot of times, you know, we'll have ideas, we'll come up with some stuff and I go out and road test it for a few months. You know, I think that's a good thing to have that um, opportunity to go out and test things and see rather than putting wasting the money on things and putting it out and you sitting on a bunch of returns yeah. you get to go out and test it and see what kind of reaction it gets and what type of adjustments it needs if any you know so that's a that's a good thing we have going
yeah, it works. I mean, hang it up. Huh? It's cold, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, right now you're going to have to get a hammer and hit that fucker. <laughs> <laughs> it's warming up. It's getting fast. That's it, that's it. There you go. <laughs> it sound good as hell, though. Tell you that.